Hello, I'm Bruce Browning, and I'm here to check out Comcast's new Xfinity store in St. Louis Park. Let's go in. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thanks, Heather. You're the store manager. I right? am, yes. Um, I came in today, had no problem coming here because it's right off, uh, right off Excelsior and Grand. But I do have a question yep. for you. If the parking were such that you could not park on Excelsior Boulevard, what other options are there for parking near the store? That's actually an awesome question. This is such a fantastic area. We're lucky enough to have a free parking ramp right next door. Okay. Obviously, if you decide to take the bus and hop on the 17, it'll drop you off real close. We're a real short walk right from the bus stop there. Um, but yeah, we've got a free parking ramp right next door that's available to anybody shopping in the building. That's perfect. Yeah. First thing that you would do, Bruce, when you come in, is we'd want you to go ahead and select what it is that you're here for today. So if you're interested in changing your service or setting up new service or canceling, you'd come in here. Obviously, we want you to be able to stay. Right. Here, we would just type in your first name. Okay. That way we know who to ask for. And then sure. hit submit. And then after that, it tells you what number you are in line. And then your name will show up on the screen in the back. Very nice. Once it's your turn, the consultant then can see that your name is in there. They'll pull it. And as Caleb pulls your name, it tells you up on the screen which associate will be helping you and at what station. So then you can easily find where it is that you need to go. The best part about it is that that consultant is also going to come out from behind the counter and be able to greet you by name since they have your first name in there. Okay. Which provides a more welcoming experience for all of our sure, customers. Sure, sure. Any idea, this might be a difficult question to ask or to answer right now, but during busy times, yeah. how if there's a wait, typically how long? Actually, that's a great question. So every store can vary. As you can see right now, if this was if everybody here was a customer, we'd have a pretty significant wait time. Sure. On average, throughout the course of the month right now, almost 90% of our customers are being helped in under 10 minutes. And I see you have a place that looks like to sit Absolutely. while you're waiting. Absolutely. Yep. So we've got a number of things that we can do to help reduce your wait time or at least make your time here more enjoyable. One thing that customers like to do when they come in here is be able to pay their bills since they sure. can come into the store pay for free, and be able to have instant access to anything on their account. We've got a number of different options. First would be our kiosks, which are right up in the front of the store. Okay. In the instance that you would want to use one of our store payment kiosks, you wouldn't even need to check in. You just come in, go over to the kiosk, pay your bill, and then be on your happy way. Okay. If you wanted to talk to an associate to talk about your bill or to see about anything else, other services that we might have available, you can also make your payment right at the register, and no fee for that either. Okay. If there happens to be a wait, though, we've got a ton of awesome stuff for you guys here. We've got some demonstrations that we can show you for our home security product over here. Okay. We've got some apps um, that you can demo on our iPads, which are actually oh. fully functional and connected to our Comcast nice. account. Um, and we can also show you some exciting stuff about our new X1 platform, which is what's driving all of our new video product right now. Okay. Would you guys like to take a look at that? Let's do that. Yeah? All right. Let's Sounds swing like on down here idea. to the back. One of my most favorite things about our X1 product is search options, first and foremost. Okay. Um, I never remember remember what channel the show is that I want to see. That's really... I, I, who, I mean, who does? But I do know that I want to watch Blacklist. Okay. So one of the great things about our new X1 product is that you can just start typing in the name of the show that you want to watch on the remote. Oh. And so if I wanted to see the Blacklist, I would do two... Five, two, and then as you can see on the screen, it's going to make predictions based off of the numbers that I've entered in. I can go straight to the blacklist, and even though it's not on right now, I can come in and have access immediately to my on demand. I can see all of the episodes that are available from Extra both of the work. seasons. Thank you so much, Mr. Yeah, Ashley. Also, at the same time, I can set up a recording. So if I don't want to have to go in and search and wait for on demand, okay. I can set up the recording right from here. One so, of my favorite things. I have a question yeah. uh, or a clarification. Yeah. You had mentioned that you could type in the name of the program. Yep. You typed in 252, which is a channel number. Yeah. But can you type in blacklist on... The remote. Well, that's what you, that is. So the B is okay, on the two. Okay, yep. got it. The got L it. is on the five. Just wanted to yep. clarify. So you'll use the you'll use the keypad on the on the remote. Like you would on a phone. Exactly the exactly. same way that you would okay. on a phone. Okay. Exactly. So that's going to be one of my favorite features about it. Makes it easy. Yeah, absolutely. For our sports fans, there's an also another great addition. There's an apps section. Uh huh. Through the program and through this app section, we have access to sports content. There's some other fun stuff in there as well 
well weather traffic for those commuters in the morning. You can actually input your home address and your work address and see what traffic looks like along your specific commute to work, okay. which is another really cool deal. The sports app is definitely big any time of the year. Wow, you can come in here, you can watch a game on the big screen and then have easy access to see all of the other scores in real time that are happening on the right side. And you can switch through any different uh, any different sport that you want. One thing that you would see on here is, let's say that I do maybe want to watch this Brewers Pirates game for mm -hmm. you know whatever reason. I can record it right from here without having to go find the channel. Or if the game is actually in progress, I'd be able to select this and flip real easily to that game. Very nice. Yeah. Makes it easy. It does make it easy, right? Which is the whole point. Yeah, absolutely. And then third, I guess the, the third option that I'd really like to show you is because I don't know if you've ever been watching more than one game or more than one show oh, at sure. a time. Sure. And sometimes the last button just doesn't cut it. Sometimes two shows just isn't enough. Now with our new X1 product, when you hit the last button, it actually shows the previous nine programs and, wow. and, and channels that you watch. And you can easily access and flip back and forth through any of those programs right at your remote. If I have an iPad. Awesome question. I can use it? Absolutely. You can use your iPad as a remote control for your TV. You can use your iPad to download your on-demand uh, on content. Okay. Uh, you can use your iPad to actually connect to Xfinity Wi-Fi hotspots all over the country. If you have Xfinity Internet, you can have access to our Xfinity Wi-Fi app for free. My phone automatically connects. I'm walking my dog at the parkway, and all of a sudden I'm getting free Wi-Fi Internet right then and there, which you, you really, really can't beat. Um, but the iPad is great. There's also some live TV options as well. The channels for live TV get more and more and more all the time. So you can be out and about on the go and still not miss the baseball game. Because I'm a technology guy, I have to ask this. Yep. How much stuff can I record on your DVR? About uh, 500 gigs. Okay. Yep. That translates roughly to how many hours of programming? Well over 100. Okay. So one of the things that you had mentioned earlier is having access to iPads. And so yes. this is an opportunity for us. We have a demo bar. If you happen to have to wait a couple of moments, you can come and sit down and be entertained. We've always got kids shows going on the TV. Sometimes we like to put on some sports on the little okay. guy over there. But if you're a technology guy and you want to learn about what's available through Comcast, we've got all sorts of different things that you can do. So through on our apps over here, this will walk you through a whole slew of different apps that we've got. And you can go through and choose and pick which one you want. Right now, we're honestly just looking at one of the Xfinity um, X1 apps. Okay. If you look at this iPad that's over here with all the red on it, this is fantastic. This app here showcases ah, all of our Xfinity Wi-Fi hotspots that our, our internet customers get access to. And it just kind of goes to show you how many. Everything that's red is going to be an Xfinity Wi-Fi hotspot. And once we drill down far enough, we'll actually start to see some specific businesses and some specific addresses that are going to be putting those Wi-Fi hotspots out. This is one of the great advantages to having Xfinity Internet. And I can tell you that it works because I have it on my smartphone. Yes. And I am a customer, therefore I have access. Absolutely. And it does exactly what you described. Absolutely. Yep. Um, and the other great thing is, is that we know that not everybody wants to walk through a guided presentation. We've got mm -hmm. people that are just, they don't learn like that. They want to dive in. They want to push some buttons. On our other demo app over here, here, we're actually demonstrating our TV on the go app. So if okay. you really wanted to come in and flip through and see what's available on demand and see what's available for you to download directly to your iPad so you can have access to it anytime, we've got that availability for you as well. I, I have another question. These are all iPads. Yep. If you don't have an iPad and you have a different kind of tablet, no problem, right? Great question. Any sort of um, Apple or Android device, this will definitely work on. Okay. Yep. And the apps are all free, which makes it even better. All right. I like free. That works well for me, too. <laughs> Welcome to this special event to uh, open our newest Xfinity Experience Center here in St. Louis Park. Uh, we're excited about bringing uh, customer experience to the West Twin Cities Metro uh, and giving a choice and option for people to come and talk to Comcast and see this great facility where they can come in and touch uh, all the things here and have a hands-on experience. Before I go any further, I want to recognize some of our elected officials and dignitaries who are here in the audience. Uh, first, uh, Brad Meyer, President of the West Metro Twin Cities Chamber. I'd also like to have members of the Board of Directors from the West Metro Twin Cities Chamber uh, step forward. 
got our ambassadors over here. Ambassadors yes, over here? Raise your hands. Raise your hands. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Thank you for being here. And of course, also uh, thank you to Reg Dunlap, who is Executive Director of the St. Louis Park City Cable Commission, and to the City of St. Louis Park for being great partners. Thank you. Finally, uh, with, with Comcast, uh, much of my leadership team is here, and I'd like to recognize some of our vice presidents supporting the greater Twin Cities metro area. And, and I'll start over here with Mary Beth Schubert, our vice president of corporate affairs. Hi, Mary Beth. Kaylin Hove, our vice president of Comcast business. Emmett Coleman, our vice president of government affairs. Kevin Bethke over here, who is our Vice President and CFO of Financing and Accounting. And Ken Ashley over here, who is our Vice President of Sales and Marketing. It's a good thing, Reg, that that camera is on wheels and you can uh, get around here. So uh, th this is meant to show how important St. Louis Park is, how important customer experience is uh, to us in the West Metro of the Twin Cities uh, that our whole leadership team felt it was so important to be here. So thank you. Uh, with that said, I'm going to bring Brad up, and Brad's going to say a few words to us. Thanks, Brad. Terrific. Thank you, Jeff. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Uh, on behalf of the Twin West Chamber of Commerce, we represent 700 businesses here in the West Metro, of which Comcast has been involved for many, many years, decades, with uh, the Twin West Chamber and the West Metro business community. So we're thrilled to be part of this today. Uh, real excited to see this, uh, this expansion here of, of these facilities and services into the West Metro. Um, you know, one of the things that's exciting about working with businesses and the business community itself is just the, uh, the, the people that are involved, the energy and excitement. I walked in here and Jeff came right up to me and we were talking from the start and just, just the excitement and energy of the folks that are involved. And uh, with that is the ingenuity and you guys are in an ever-changing industry and then it's exciting to see the work that you guys are doing here in not only St. Louis Park, but uh, the entire West Metro. So uh, again, we want to congratulate you. We want to thank you. We're happy to be celebrating with you today. Uh, we want to thank all of our ambassadors from other businesses and the business community here celebrating with you as well. So uh, with that, I'm going to present you with uh, a little token uh, that of remembrance for the day here that uh, commemorates the ribbon cutting we're going to do in just a few minutes. And Jeff, I want to say Great. congratulations Thank you, again. Thank you. Put this over here for now. We'll proudly display this. We're very proud of this uh, as Comcasters. Uh, next, I'd like to say, uh, you know, just a few general words about uh, the center and today. Uh, you know, we're so proud of our partnership with not only the Twin West Metro Chamber of Commerce, but also the City of St. Louis Park and our relationship with the Cable Commission. Uh, one of the things the center is going to help us highlight uh, is our four key products, uh, internet, uh, phone service, cable TV, and of course home security, Xfinity Home, which we offer. Uh, a lot of people might have heard recently about X1, our new video platform that is changing the game uh, from a guide standpoint. As you can see, lots of HD. Uh, you can go on demand. Uh, it's a great package. I have it at home personally. But uh, the great thing about an Xfinity Experience Center is you can come in here and experience these products yourselves, and we'll do some demos later. Uh, next, I'd like to make sure that we mention that um, this is the sixth center in the Twin Cities. So uh, we're on a mission to get out there and show that we care about customer experience in the Twin Cities. And these centers are to provide a place where people can come in and talk to our employees. And again, very excited to have our sixth one here in St. Louis Park. Uh, from an a Internet Essential standpoint, we've got a, a product uh, that is aimed at serving the low-income neighborhoods uh, of our Twin Cities, which we're constantly trying to work to bridge the digital divide. 
Um, if you qualify for the free school lunch program in schools, you can qualify for $9.95 internet through Comcast if you're in our service footprint. So I did want to mention that that is available to folks in the school systems uh, who qualify, and that's a, another way that Comcast is giving back to help bridge uh, the digital divide. Uh, finally, um, uh, Comcast Cares Day is coming up. This is a day of volunteering for Comcast. 100,000 employees across the country, uh, over 2,000 employees just here in the Twin Cities. Uh, we actually have two sites here in uh, St. Louis Park. I think one is Texatonka Park. Uh, and the other one is Perspectives Incorporated. So very excited to be uh, having uh, some work locations where our organization will be doing some volunteering uh, in St. Louis Park, and that'll be great. So uh, with that said, I think it's time to cut the ribbon uh, and have our executives come up, uh, as well as the Comcast leadership and partners, and let's get this thing going. Three, two, one.